Hey folks, welcome to the Cotswold Collectibles YouTube channel. My name is Greg Brown, owner and president of Cotswold Collectibles. And this week we're going to wrap up our series of MC Toy Center World Peacekeepers. First week we discussed figures that we currently have in stock from World Peacekeepers. Last week we discussed um, the vehicles that we had. And this week we're going to wrap it up with the accessory sets and um, just kind of miscellaneous one six scale items that we have. The three that we're going to be talking about today are going to be the howitzer, um, the tower, and then the set that is called Military Life. First up though, let's go ahead and talk about the Howitzer. This is a really interesting set. Um, I cannot describe to you what which howitzer, what type of howitzer this is. I'm guessing it's a 105, but don't get me to lie I'm not an expert on heavy weapons. But basically the set comes with the howitzer. It comes with a figure like most of these sets do. Um, he's wearing the uh, Desert Battle Uniform DBU. He also comes with some of the standards that you're kind of used to. He comes with the binoculars, dust goggles, boots. He comes with a headset with a microphone, the Law Rocket. He comes with a Styog rifle, which is kind of unusual. Most of these have been coming with M4 carbines. He comes with a uh, large uh, canteen filled ready with handset, ammo box with three howitzer shells, artillery shells, and then a belt and a knife with holster. And then to finish it off, it actually comes with a really neat, um, it's just kind of like an accessory where he can sit on it of sandbags. It's one piece molded. Really interesting set. The uh, the howitzer itself is olive drab. There's no uh, really any any big time detailing on it, um, except for some black accents on the barrel to kind of give it some weathering. But a really nice set and um, well worth the money. Unfortunately, I don't have the pricing with me on, on right at this moment, but I will have the pricing listed down below. The second item um, has been very, very popular with our collectors, and this is the Military Life set. There are two different versions that are out there. Uh, we are carrying the one that comes with the um, woodland camouflage uh, BDUs instead of the, the DCUs. Um, so basically this set comes with a figure with the uniform and the boots. Also comes with the belt uh, and helmet. And what's really interesting with this set is all the accessories that come with it because this is more like a barracks set. It's gonna come with a bunk bed with two beds on it, a uh, field pack, a guitar, it's gonna come with a pillow and a wool blanket, an M4 carbine, um, shower um, sandals, looks like a shaving kit with the mug. And then it comes with a locker, a towel, an um, undershirt and shorts, and some extra hangers. So if you're really looking for something that has a lot of uh, accessories and stuff like that for kit bashing and stuff, this is a really great set for you. And we will also list the price below for this set as well. As of this moment, we're only carrying this set. We will not be carrying the DCU set though. Last but not least is the Lookout Tower. This thing has been selling like crazy. Um, in fact, this is the last one. I'm not even sure. It might have already sold by the time we go to press with this. But what's really cool about this, um, this is one six, one six scale as, as all the other ones are. It is tall. It is 32 and a half inches tall. So that's around almost three feet tall. Um, as with all the other sets, it comes with a figure. This figure in, in particular is wearing um, woodland camouflage like the other ones, belt, boots, helmet. This guy is kind of interesting in the fact that if you can see it, um, he actually comes with a blonde mohawk. So he'd be great for a Pathfinder World War II, but if you don't like it, you can put the helmet on it. Standout features on this set is this has a real adventure team feel for those of you that are adventure team collectors. It has a 50 cal machine gun on the top. It also has a searchlight. It also has a real working winch with a net. It also has a ladder. It actually comes with an anti-tank weapon that actually fires a little plastic missile. It comes with an ammo crate, a radio with handset, and then an ammo belt. Like I said, this is the last one that we have. Um, but we're bringing more in. We should we have a second shipment of these coming in probably July or August of this year. So we definitely love it. Um, it's like I said, it's great for military. It's great for kit bashing. It's painted up yellow, painted up orange. Leave it be. It can be adventure team. So those are the three basic sets that we have in stock right now. If you go to our website under MC Toy Center, you're going to see a lot of other items there that have not come in yet. Again, they're gonna be due in sometime this summer. We're gonna be bringing in some 118 scale stuff. We're gonna be bringing in some 16 scale stuff. Um, we have some items that are, we got some 18 scale Humvees that are coming in. We have a, uh, a World War II era motorcycle that's coming in with a rider that'll be coming in the summer as well. That's 16 scale, a, a 16 scale rider with a horse. And we're, we're gonna also be coming, having some CIA figures coming in. We're gonna have some surfers and scuba divers. So a really good variety. 
But that's not all. We just solidified an order with MNC Toy Center uh, for production of more product this fall that should be coming out around October, November. It all depends on how the shipping lanes are. Unfortunately, there's so many of them, I really, I really couldn't remember, so I had to print this out. Um, we're going to be bringing in uh, more one six scale figures due to the really good demand on that. Uh, we're going to do an, a Navy SEAL special ops figure, a Ranger, and a Green Beret. Another new set we're going to be introducing is a locker box set. It's going to be like very similar to the G.I. Joe foot lockers back in the 60s and 70s. And uh, it's going to come with a figure and all the accessories and gear, and it fits in a plastic foot locker. So next, we're going to uh, introduce a new set, an Airborne Trooper Halo, which is going to come with a working parachute. People generally love parachutes. And then we're going to also introduce a new set called the World Peacekeepers Expeditionary Unit. Now, what that one is, is a figure, and it has a full kind of a camp out type of thing. It's got a, got a tent set and a sleeping bag set and all the, all the types of accessories and equipment you need for a camp set up. So it's gonna have lots of parts fodder. For people looking for a bad guy, we're gonna have a World Peacekeeper's Enemy Commando. Um, he's gonna have an AK-47 with a grenade launcher and he just, once you see him, you go, yeah, he looks like a bad guy, stereotypical bad dude. And finally, uh, we're gonna be bringing more vehicles in. Um, we've worked out a deal with I mean, Toy Center where we're gonna be bringing um, all-terrain vehicles. They're both gonna be olive drab, and with black features, um, but you're gonna have your choice of a figure in woodland camouflage or a figure in uh, desert camouflage um, as well. So that's it for the series. Like I said, um, really great stuff, really affordable stuff from MNC Toy Center. World Peacekeepers has been around for a long time and we plan to carry much, much more of them for this year, as you can see, and in the foreseeable future. Check down. From below for any and all information for links and such like that. And other than that, um, have a great day.